Hey all you hot pakas out there in Gray's land, it's me Rad Miss Fliss. Welcome back to another writing stream. Tonight I am joined by my good friend Mage, who is streaming over on Picarta. Is that right? Yeah, it's Picardo. Picardo. Um, just like last week, we are going to use a uh, prompt from the story engine uh, to get us going. And the story engine is a set of cards that uh, consists of five different decks. You can combine them in various different ways to uh, get different story prompts. Uh, I know Mage was doing some... Um, my brain's working. It's working. Was doing some warm ups. Warm ups are super important. Whether you're drawing, whether you're writing, whether you're running, warm ups are really important. Uh, I am a terrible writer. I never do warm ups. I always just jump right in. Um, but I'm always writing just a little bit, like throughout my day as well. So I like. I'm. A, I'm definitely a grazer. Definitely sticking with that alpaca theme. Uh, last week we did a simple prompt. And I'm sort of on the fence as to whether I want to do a complex prompt today or another simple prompt. Um, because, like, for simple prompts, there's only one style of prompt to do. But if we do a complex prompt, I was going to ask Mage for help picking which one of the three kinds of complex prompts that we have. They've got, um, listen to this, Mage, give me your opinion. They've got uh, the Circle of Fate... A clash of wills or a soul divided. Hmm. So like, I'll look, yeah. I can I can give you a description of what those mean too in the context of what kind of prompt we'll be generating. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, mm -hmm. a circle of fate. Uh, this prompt ties two characters together in a dynamic two-way relationship. Position the mm -hmm. cards at each step as shown so it can be interpreted as a circle. Uh, clash of Wills, in this prompt, two characters, usually rivals, want the same thing for different reasons. And A Soul Divided, in this prompt, one character faces a choice between two things they care about mm -hmm. and must choose only one. Hmm. Co uh, what's the... What's the... Um, sorry, my brain's not working right now. What, what's the Soul Divided one again? Soul Divided is one character choosing between two things. They can't have both. They care about them both. I do like that one a lot because it like um it it's very relatable to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. So maybe maybe it's still divided. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let me clear the prompts over here. I have like a mage. I don't think you can see my screen, but I have a sort of area where the cards get laid out, and then. Um, that's what's currently on my screen. And then once that's done, uh, I get to switch over to my word processor where we'll be able to see your lovely artwork uh, as well Ugh. as my face. But we can <laughs> still hear you. Perfect. Hold on. Let me oh. get on your Twitch right now. Yeah, it's yeah. it's an SFW. It's Pjorn, so uh, be, be, <laughs> be careful. So. That's okay. All right, so for this one, we want to draw an anchor and an agent, which is the character and like a place or object uh, that they're attached to. And we choose one to place as the first object of desire. So we're between a merchant and a timepiece as the object of desire. I'm kind of feeling the timepiece. The timepiece is pretty freaking dope. Also, uh, it's Ra is it Radmus Fliss or is it Alpaca Lunch? Alpaca Lunch Games. Alpaca Lunch Games. Okay, yeah. Let me update that. All right, then I draw two engines and two conflicts. Oh. Oopsies. Choose one of each to create a tucked pair and place it oriented left. So our two engines are these are the things that the the character wants to do wants to regain mm -hmm. or wants to end the power of uh so do we want to regain or end the power of this timepiece i think end the power up will be very fitting for um for what, everything like you know how everyone's feeling at the moment yeah regaining the power of a timepiece is very interesting i think we place that this way because we also have a conflict 
Uh, but they will have to do something they can never tell anyone about, or but they will have to learn to trust again. And I kind of, I'm feeling the former. They will have to do something they can never tell anyone about. I this like that a lot as well, <laughs> but for different reasons. This is super, mm -hmm. I mean, it's super angsty already, and I love it. Yes. Uh, all yes. right. Uh, and then we do the same thing, and we're going to do that to the right. So another two engines and another two conflicts. Uh, these are the two things. Or, oh, this is the first object of desire. So this actually goes over here. My whole screen is now messed up. Stop spinning, card. All right, so we've got a timepiece. We might have to finagle things interestingly to get this to all fit. Okay, so alternately, instead of ending the power of this timepiece, uh, we want to destroy or uh, achieve a dream involving. I do like both. I mean, Martin Luther King Day just passed, so that's pretty dope. But at the same time, I do like destroying, like, a, you know, some regimes, so... Okay, hmm. let me read the conflicts, because these are good as well. Um, so, but it will make a hypocrite of them, or but it will mean betraying family. Ooh, the latter is so spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do... Let's do wants to achieve a dream, but it will mean betraying family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Those families. Oh, damn. All right. So this we're going to go sort of this do way. I, do I detect a regicide? <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, next. Oh, man, I skipped a step. That's why this is so weird. All right. So we're drawing two agents, and one of these is going to be the main character. An archivist, uh, blah, blah, an archivist or an outcast? And I think with this theme, I think we're going to have to go with arc, uh, outcast. Oh, of course. A hundred percent outcast. I'm going to fix the text on the screen because you see shit. It's a little bit difficult to see because this is sort of a wider prompt than I've got my setup for. Uh, and then I draw a person and an anchor and I choose one to place as the second object of desire. Alright, so we're choosing between a twin or a piece of furniture. I don't think that's even a choice. It's got to be the twin. Yes, yes. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, that's super spicy. So <laughs> now, so what we're looking at is the, the divided soul. He has to choose, an outcast has to choose between ending the power of a timepiece, but they'll have to do something uh, they can never tell anyone about, or they can achieve a dream involving a twin, but it will mean betraying family. But we're not Ooh. we're not done with this super spicy prompt yet. We're getting there. Uh, now we draw four aspect cards. These basically modify the cards that we have down, and we can place these sort of wherever we like. So we've got mm -hmm. haunted, wealthy, secret, and traumatic. Oh my god, Ooh, these go so that's spicy. Let's make this a wealthy twin or a secret twin. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's even spicy. Wait, why not a secret wealthy twin? Um, let's see. We can tuck. Or do you have to only pick one? We don't have to only pick one. We can do more than one. Um, I'm just trying to see. Let's see. A haunted timepiece would make so much sense. So let's do yes. that. Ending the power of a haunted timepiece. This is such a weird, like, awesome story. I love it already. This is fucking. I love epic. how it's. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty relatable too. It's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm in fact going to choose a different I'm going to rotate this card because each of these cards has uh, four prompts on it we're going to choose misunderstood for the outcast this is a misunderstood Ooh. outcast of course he is 
Yeah, like, of course. Look at the rest of the story. Yeah. And a wealthy secret twin. Ooh, man, this is already exciting. I wonder what you're gonna write. All right. This is so gonna take some thinking. Um, but do we uh, start the timer once uh, you're all done with this? Oh, I mean, I just my timer is the length of my stream, so. Oh no, shit! Okay, okay, okay. It's that's it. Um, but that's cool. Uh, so to go over uh what anybody's looking at on the screen now. Because it's about to go in the tiny upper corner. Oh, hey. Hey, Gemma. Uh, Hi, Gemma. And uh, so we've got our main character is this uh, outcast. This misunderstood outcast. And they either want to end the power of a haunted timepiece, but they'll have to do something they can never tell anyone about. Or they can... Uh, achieve a dream involving a secret wealthy twin, but it will mean betraying the family. Ooh. I definitely like the latter. It's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's spicy. Well, I think the way that it's supposed to go is that now that we have that prompt, it's not like we as the author choose one or the other, but the story is about how the character is twist tempted by both of these things i don't know if the time that we've got has is enough for this we're gonna try no, no, no i believe in you um oh let me do some thinking everybody follow alpaca lunch gaming um or radmus fliss on twitter she is an excellent writer uh likewise if you don't follow story girl she also does writing streams and uh, she is also on Twitter at Blue, Blue J Gliding. I'm good with words, I promise. Um, she is another great source of inspiration, and she does writing time as well. Um, I don't have bots set up, otherwise I would definitely ping her and her channel on Twitch. Uh, but definitely worth it. Let me think here. So I'm sort of thinking, like, what is misunderstood about this outcast? Like, my, well, mind, well, well, e my mind immediately is jumping to, like, the most taboo thing. And, like, what if these twins were, like, um, like romantic for each other? And that's why this is an outcast. And they get there, there's this dream with their wealthy secret twin. But nobody knows that they're related. Like, it's super gross. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it is gross, but it does also make a compelling story. Yeah, it's it's just, I don't super, it feels slimy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, listen, don't worry about it. Like, you know, conflicts are there for a reason in fiction. And oh, yeah. Yeah. And also, you're under a time limit, so you gotta go fast. You gotta choose fast. Like, decide. <laughs> um, I mean, sort of. Uh, I I don't I don't care how much I get done by the end of it. To be honest, I don't need to write a whole short story or anything. I'm just trying to get something down in the page, you know. Hell yeah, hell yeah. This is a uh, very much an informal writing time, but I do appreciate the uh, the the pressure. Hell yeah. <laughs> It's what I do for a figure drawing, and this is what you do to get faster at writing, so hell ye. Let's do this. Look at us all being pro. Go ahead, shake my worldview. Challenge my beliefs. And uh, for those who aren't seeing it right now, uh, Fliss is 
writing up a script as we speak. Not a God, script, just keep... a ma- more like a manuscript.
Netflix. Um, yeah. OnlyFans? OnlyFans? Are, <laughs> are you reading? What the Yeah, stories? I read that a little bit. Yeah. What? I'm guessing this is like what's called. I mean, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I don't, I don't know where guys go now. I just, I was gonna do Pornhub, but I want him to make sure that he pays. He, you yeah, know. you know, I respect that. I respect that. Support you know, he's, sex workers, you're right. He's a piece of shit, but the least he can do is pay his sex worker. <laughs> respect, respect.
what's a good name for a psychic? A psychic, huh? Yeah. I don't know. Does that be male, female? Like, um. I, I mean, I wrote Madame, but I don't care. <laughs> I, I was thinking something like along the lines of Madame Lestrange, Madame LeBlanc, or something like that. They feel like Lestrange is a little too Harry Potter. That is true. Hmm. LeBlanc. Mysterious. Madame Mysterious. Madame Q. <laughs> But like LGBTQ. No. Oh, no. Let's not drag any of us good people into this. Um, oh. <laughs> Madame Butterfly. Ooh, I kind of like Madame Butterfly actually. Oh yeah. Also, you already written one page in thirty minutes. I am so proud of you. Good exercise. Good exercise. Oh, that's not going to fly. I don't like that page view. Oh, yeah, that page view is pretty gross. Can we do a single? Focus one page. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not Ooh. that far out. I got to be able to read what I'm writing, and presumably yeah. you do too. Uh, yes. Forgetting words. It's okay. I forget words all the time as a dyslexic. You got this. Yeah, I just gotta look up the word. <laughs> There's like... Oh my god. Hmm? There's like what? A certain kind of sweater that I'm trying to think of. Hmm? That's it. Cardigan. Well, it's cardigan. That's the word that I'm looking for. Oh, it's for. cardigan. Nice, nice, nice.
don't think it's madam with an E in this context. It's probably unimportant while I'm writing. Oh no, it's okay. Madam butterfly. Madame butterfly. Well, like, I think it's the difference between being a madam, which is like the chief woman in charge at a brothel, and just being yes. like. Oh, Monique, that is a good. I kind of like. I'm going to go back and change it because I like Monique better. I do also Thank like you, Monique Davey. better. That is. Hmm? Davy suggested that in the chat. I'm really bad at checking the chat. Oh, no, it's okay. Hey, Davy D boy. That's, uh, he's a really good friend of mine.
What are you drawing over there, Jason? I am drawing Sin. Oh, how? Let's see. I mean, you're doing pretty well too, because like, holy shit, you already got on your third page and just yeah. it's crazy, bro. It's like fifteen hundred words so far. Damn. Nice. I think can't wait to see it all in completion. I think so too. I think so too. <laughs> the spirit is getting angry. I love that. I'll show you the Sintin after I'm done with it. Right now, I'm still trying to find like, places I, uh, I need to add contrast to. How about you? What What are the challenges you're facing right now? Uh, I'm at a point where I feel like I've done a lot of dialogue, and now I need to do like a major action to make this happen. But right. Adam is really at this pivotal point where, like I said blatantly in my words you know in my writing you know he's he hasn't been alone for a long time not really alone uh mm -hmm. he's he's been living with the ghost of his grandfather so also there's the ethical question of if there's a hell did his grandfather actually do anything that deserves eternal damnation Ooh, i love that and there's there's layers here, and I've kind of, you know, this is a shitty first draft, so it's all laid out very bare bones, like, obvious. Uh, but oh, it's oh. it's there, and it's on paper, which is more than I could say at the beginning of the night. Yes. It's important to get it down first, and then polish it later. I mean, I usually also don't come back and polish these, because this is mostly about exercising my creative muscles than it is about like having anything but who knows Agreed. who knows what will end up getting polished um who knows during what will end up getting drafts you know during some of these um creative um what's it called writing things and having like you know like oh these are the characters and put them in places that they they need to grow in um sometimes i would actually repurpose some of these like exercises as like feature characters and it's like it's really interesting. I th I think probably the the weakest point of the story engine is that while it gives you prompts, it doesn't mm -hmm. give you characters. And mm -hmm. I tend to like very character driven narratives. So like I've come yes. up with one for this because of the twisted relationship that he has with his grandfather and his sister, and even sort of his father and his uncles. Uh, who all wanted the pocket watch because they thought it was something that it wasn't. Um, mm -hmm. But, um, but that's that's really like when I'm using the story engine. Uh, aside from the blank page, that's the next biggest problem. Is like I've got a vague idea of who the character is in that. Okay, so this is uh, a misunderstood outcast. Mm-hmm. But also, who is that? That's incredibly vague. You know how many different kinds of misunderstood outcasts there are? Yes. Wow. Like, just let me get a, an Owen Wilson. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, uh, that's, it's, it's a lot to, um, to unpack there's honestly more in the secret wealthy twin than there is in misunderstood outcast as a character and um grandfather i just pulled out of nowhere and i think part of it is because my own grandfather was kind of the person in my life who i mean i never had any weird twin cest nonsense <laughs> in my life but whenever I did something that wasn't within that like wasp profile expectation that growing up in an elder conservative uh, environment was my grandfather was the one who was the, he was the patriarch that was like looking at me like this is the way that you do things like I specifically remember he took me on a trip to South Dakota once 
and we were watching South Park on the hotel TV. Uh, and we're just like in bumfuck nowhere, South Dakota, uh, watching South Park on this hotel TV. And there's a part where like some like three dudes end up admitting to jacking off in the hot tub while they were all in the hot tub. And he looks Gross. at me and he goes, that's not normal. Men don't normally <laughs> do that. And I was like, <laughs> <We're slot. laughs> but also like the aggressive heteronormativity of that is like, I don't normally do like it. While it's, while it's gross because none of them consented to it, it doesn't have to be gross. Yeah, exactly. Once they know yeah, if they want to go back and do it, if they like that shit, cool. And they clean up afterwards. Hell well, yeah. Well, yeah, because do you don't want to clog up your fucking um, your your jacuzzi with jism. <laughs> jacuzzi, bro. <laughs> jacuzzi, right? I don't know. That might be the name of the South Park episode, for all I know. <laughs> oh, hell no. Uh, but we are coming up on the end of the stream here. Um, I did pretty, pretty well. I'm pretty proud of what I did tonight. And uh, if you were um, riding along with us, uh, hopefully you can share maybe your word count. Um, I don't have this one. Let me see if I can drop this in a Google Doc really quick, and then I can. Um, I couldn't get Google Docs to set to dark mode, which was so much more necessary because your picture at the bottom doesn't show up well against the light mode version. It's like normally oh, I would cool. use Google Docs for it. Oh, hell yeah. And then I can drop the link in the Twitch chat for this document. Oh, yeah. Good job, Miss Fluss. You definitely are rad. We're gonna call that the haunted timepiece. And let's turn on anyone with the link can view. Let's copy that. Copy that. <sighs> I should probably find a way to like put that somewhere where it's obvious but i i did get like uh yeah like two two and almost a half pages two and a quarter pages uh because oh, a quarter yeah. is, quarter's almost a half i can do math um yeah but uh if you like the story engine if you um like doing the writing stuff uh, we will be back next week at 5.30 p.m. PST doing more free writing, probably still using the story engine. I don't know if we'll do another complex, but the one we did was really cool, uh, and I really enjoyed using it. Um, I'll make sure that on the VOD there's a, there's a link. Uh, if you want your own story engine deck, you can order that. Uh, we're going to wrap things up. Uh, Mage, where can you be found on the internet? So, for people who are adults, you can find me as Satanic Beef. Like, basically, uh, like, what Fliss has on her screen, but with no space. At, like, you know, Twitter or whatever. But be careful. There are some really nasty kinks on there that, like, it's called. If you're not comfortable with, I really would not advise uh, looking at it. <laughs> so, just a little more heads up. And whether you're into it if you're okay with seeing it the artwork is simply outstanding i do recommend checking that out uh i have seen mage's body of work and and i love it uh sometimes it can be very full-bodied work and uh <laughs> <laughs> definitely worth checking really? out uh you can find me as you can see up at the top of the screen uh on discord radmus fliss number 5149 you can find me on twitter at radmus fliss uh, thank you so much for joining us. If you forgot to eat, don't worry. I'll pack a lunch for you.